Uh, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts. Um, I'm a black torn uh, shillelagh stick maker and I specialize in the Irish stick method of, uh, of making walking sticks. And uh, I made a video there um, previously uh, about talking about how you could kind of use a curve that comes right into the handle and if you do it right you can make it comfortable in both your right and your left hand so um it just so happens that the next stick that i was working on was was one very similar and i thought i'd put two two videos out describing it because it is a technique that um i don't see um others talk about and uh, it's something that that we do here at mccaffrey crafts as well so the the technique that is involved is like you have a black corn stick and you have to make sure that it's balanced as you can see here that it is pretty balanced and uh, it is pretty strong and there's a little counterbalance at the bottom where it gives a little curve as well to give it like extra strength it's 38 and a half inches in length which is quite strong and 500 grams in weight so the technique that i'm talking about is like when you have this curve right at the top before the handle and again a lot of guys might you know say oh i want to cut it here and make it into a knob stick but it just doesn't look right but if you if you kind of um are into irish stick making you're into uh, the different types of handles in irish stick and there are so many varieties of handles and uh, i just i made the video yesterday and i'm just showing you a second example to kind of like uh, reinforce it because i know it's not talked about so you will get a curve like this right up the top and the temptation is to kind of like just cut it here and make it into a knob stick and then you have a kind of stick here but when you see something like this you you can actually make it omnidextrous for both hands so here's in my left hand my fingers wrap around quite nicely and um, my thumb you see this this thing here i kind of smoothed it away but i left a little bit here so that you can kind of you can put your thumb comfortably here so your thumb can kind of grip here even if you have bigger hands or bigger thumbs as well and it feels pretty nice and um, you can also rest your finger here if it's more comfortable for you if you have a bigger hand then you would be resting your finger here and you'd have your thumb around here and uh, again that offers great weight and support it's black torn very dense heavy wood as well it's very strong so you're using this curve as part of the process to to add extra comfort to the handle as well and um, sometimes when you take a picture of this online you're just looking and you're like what's that bend oh, i don't know that's that's not because i had people before they're asking me like what's this this bend at the top and i hadn't come across any of um pieces of wood um like that as well so this video is kind of in response to uh to guys that were asking me about like why do you not take that top bend out at the top and i was like there's actually method to it there's method into my madness guys you mightn't believe that so here it is very comfortably in your left hand and i'll just switch it over now into into my right hand as well and uh, here you can see that you're just working on the other side so remember when your left hand your finger goes over here but in your right hand your finger can quite in quite non, uh, comfortably here now again if you have a bigger hand than me you can actually put it across here but because my hand's a bit smaller that's not the most comfortable grip for me this one is actually the comfort grip for me in my hand your fingers can wrap around again you do have uh, this particular bend in towards you but the thing is like when you see this bend it's hard to like in a picture like this is me in my right hand sometimes when you see this bend curve in like this you think it's only a left hand stick but not really because here's in my right hand and uh, it adds extra comfort because because of this bend is here my fingers around here and my thumb can go in here or i can rest my thumb here a bit down further so i have this whole area to rest my thumb i have this point to put my index finger around then my middle finger and the other three fingers is there and when you're walking with this it actually feels really really comfort it's actually like a really good grip here you can see you know the balance of it you can see when you're looking directly down from the handle you can actually understand why the stick is balanced there's always little little bends and little things but you have to make a stick balanced as well so this this is another stick that uses uh, the irish uh, the irish stick making technique of um is where you have like a I don't know even I should actually coin names for these things because uh, I don't think anyone else ever has but uh, I, I just just call this like a, just a top bend into the handle uh, maybe it's something that we do here in McCaffrey crafts but you see I'm I'm used to to working with one piece of wood so um like uh, and McCaffrey crafts like you know my dad does a few with attached handles but for me I, I never attach a handle I like to work with natural pieces of wood and over the years I've kind of seen and know what type of features within natural wood 
actually make for good handles and it takes there's a skill and a craft in that as well of how to identify this so like when i see something like that in the wild with ben someone we go oh i'm not sure that's not going to be a good stick but for me i kind of see the features i know it i know that this top bend can be used in both right and left hand because your initial like if you just saw that in the wild when you're about to cut the piece of wood you think oh that's only good in your left hand that's not going to be good in your right hand because of the way it curves in but that's not the case um if you know what you're doing like i do here at mccaffrey crafts um so look if you like this type of series where i just kind of talk about the handles the different variations in in irish stick and as i said there's like actually I probably about like over a hundred of these um style of of handles and sticks and features that I come across in time and time again. So like as I come across them as I'm making sticks, I'll try out a few of these videos. And as always, thank you supporting for Irish craft and Irish stick making. Um, Irish stick making is an old age tradition that's not really there anymore. And I am a professional stick maker. Yes, you heard it. That's my job. I, I literally make a living off this. This is my full time living, my full job. And uh, you know, there's there's a there's a lot into it that uh, that's just not out there, and people just don't understand. It's it's not just a piece of wood. Like you know, a lot of time and effort and thought and energy goes into collecting the woods. There's certain types of energies you have to, or certain types of features you have to look for when you're cutting the wood as well. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this type of series where I kind of give you some insight into the type of handles and the type of features you can use in Irish stick making. Bye bye.